Alibaba's A department is hard at work. They have just released Quen Code, which is a CLI workflow tool designed to enhance developer productivity by using Quen 3 coder models for intelligent code understanding and automation. This seems like sort of a clone of Google's Gemini CLI and takes a lot of inspirations from OpenAI's Codex CLI and Anthropic's Cloud Code. I will be doing another video where I will be comparing all of these. I already have done one by the way but i will do a new one with this new quen code but for the purpose of this video <clears throat> we'll be installing this quen code locally and we will try it out this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please subscribe to the channel and like the video as it helps a lot so what exactly is this quen code this new tool enables users to query and edit large code bases beyond normal context limits it can automate operational tasks like pull request handling and complex rebases installation is fairly simple anywhere on windows mac or linux you can run this tool you can see that i am running this ubuntu system the only requirement you need to have in order to get it installed is that you should have a recent version of node installed you can see that i have this node 22.14 installed as long as you have node over uh, version 20 you should be good to go if you don't know how to install it just set my channel i have done a very simple to follow video second step download this this just takes a few seconds and then it also brings it to your local system and you can also use by the way this npm command like this i'll show you you can globally install it something like this okay and that is all there is to it sometimes you have to add it to the path and in order to test it you can just simply run this coin version and you can see that it's a very very first alpha version which we are running now before you move forward there are a couple of things you need to be aware of all of these coding agents like uh, codex cli and then cloud code and including Quen, they all are api based what it means is that you would need to go to their respective website and grab the api key almost all of them offer a free tier um, the good thing with alibaba is that their free tier is quite generous and for the free tier all you need to do that if you are in mainland china just go to uh, this website dash scope and if you're not in mainland China, you can either go to model scope or you could just go to Alibaba's uh, website, which is a model studio. Let me quickly show you what I'm saying here. So this is the Alibaba cloud model studio, which you can log in and then use uh, for free. Just log into with your email address for free. And then from the bottom left, you can just grab your API key as you can see here. And I think you can have 10 to 20 API keys. Um, you might have to, you know, enter your credit card details, but you won't be charged. Also, if you're in India, it, this might not be accessible as I'm told by a few viewers. So some uh, people have told me that from India, they can access this portal through dash scope try it out let me know how you go otherwise i will try to find some other uh, way for you guys to check it out okay so that is uh now you know how to do this next up this is the api base which you need to use whether you are in mainland china or not what i mean here is that i'll just clear the screen these are the environment variables which we need to set so this is the api key which i just showed you how to get this is a base url which you need to set and this is uh, depending on your geographical location so just select accordingly and lastly i am selecting and setting my quen3 coder plus model which is a new quen3 coder model and that we already have covered it in detail on the channel as you can see here one of the best if not the best coding model in open source or maybe even the closed source these days okay so let me set my keys and then clear the screen and my keys are now set now in order to start this coin all you need to do anywhere on your system just type coin 
and it is going to launch coin first time it is going to ask you a few of the questions like what theme you want dark is always good on terminal and then how do you want to access it so open ai is good which primarily means that it is using the open ai compatible um, model so you can when you enter here it will just going to ask your api key again or it will grab from your environment so let me press enter and there you go you can see that it didn't ask me anything and it just picked it up from my environment so if you won't set it it is going to ask for that um, model scope api key and then you can just talk here you can ask it any question uh, from your terminal like you can ask it um, describe the main parts of this code so i'm already in my git test repo as you can see here and what i'll do i'll just create a new app dot file file here and i'm just going to say print hello hopefully i still have credits uh, in my api key because i have been using it like crazy anyway i'll give it a try and i'll also save it just for the sake of it okay and i'll just run it in front of you there you go so it is optimizing humor okay so i think i don't have um credits but i will double check or maybe i'll just try to regenerate the key so i have regenerated the key and i have done one more thing if you look at the bottom i have changed um, the model's name to all lowercase and it is now working so make sure that you have your key uh, fresh key and even if it you know start getting error about throttling just generate a new key i have seen that that fixes the issue and interestingly enough yesterday it was working with all these um, gaps in the model name but that is fine it's an alpha model so expect the breaking changes so there you go so i have just asked it that uh, in this question that describe app.py file which we just created it is reading the file and then telling me what exactly in this file okay so i'll just say that uh, can you create me a self-sustained html file animating the text like the video let's see if it can generate the code and you see just in the style of gemini and even cloud code especially cloud code i would say it also just gives some random equips like truth and all this say it says that uh, yes allow once i'll just say yes allow always and there you go it is creating it how good is that really really good stuff i'm not going to test the model here because model is we already have tested very very thoroughly in these couple of videos we have even integrated it with this continue.dev if you are interested anyway so you see that it has uh, given us this i'll just say uh, uh, you know if you just want if you you can also uh, shift tab between this as you can see but i'm just going to go with this one and i'm just showing you how nicely it has formatted it there you go and then you can just simply um you know talk with it maybe let me see if it can launch it can you launch it in the browser there you go yes i'll say yep look at blowing on the cartridge maybe i'll just say this let's wait for it and it is still launching that http server so it, it does have access to your operating system so of course you would need to exercise some caution too and it is trying to launch that simple web server which you can readily access so all in all pretty good terminal tool for as a coding companion as you can see and most of the use cases which i have seen being used in the real world is that people are creating project documentation they are refactoring the code they are updating the code and then mainly they are writing some unit test and there you go you can see that coin has, has created this animation on our local system 
and how good that looks. Look at the animation, look at the colors and everything. It's a very high quality stuff. And hopefully you will be liking the liking the video after watching this. And once you um, press Control C, it also gives you this interaction summary and as how many api calls did you make and then what was the performance and if it was fulfilled or not so look um, really really uh, amazing tool i would say from quen very much like cloud code and especially cloud code even more than gemini cli i would say but experience is even slightly more refined and polished and remember this is just an alpha version that's it Again, please like the video and let me know what do you think. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws. And you will find their link in video's description. Thank you for all the support.